Hi friends. I'm doing my own taping today, so it won't be really good. But my sweetheart's gone today and I want to do some dipping uh, for Christmas uh, candies. Uh, I've made my own caramels all my life. And of course, turtles are uh, made from pecans and caramels. And we have lots of pecans here in Thatcher, Arizona. And so I have lots of uh, pecans that I have shelled out. But I came up with a fast idea and I want you to see what you think of it. I'll show you the end result when I'm done. But look at what I put together today. This pan of turtles ready to go in the uh, oven. This is what you do. You put three pecans together like this. And then you uh, drop some uh, caramel on. But guess what I did? I used Werther's Originals, the chewy caramels. And this is the size of a caramel. I used my scissors and I cut the chewy caramel in half. So then you just place it on it. I'm gonna put it in a 200 degree oven and we'll see for how long. I'm guessing it'll take about 10 minutes to just melt that enough to adhere the, all of the nuts together. Why some of the chewy caramels are darker and some lighter, I don't know. I guess even professional candy makers get a variance uh, at times, but they're both chewy, they taste wonderful, and this is what we're going to try to pull off today. Let's see how it happens. It's going in the oven. I've put it on parchment and I'll begin the timing. Here's the end results of the turtles. I think they turned out quite nicely. That's a fast and easy way to do it. You ought to try it. Hello, family and friends. I'm going to put together some cheese balls. And as you uh, realize, I don't use a recipe and I don't follow it quite often anyway, but we quite enjoy cheese balls during the holiday and uh, they're easy to make. They freeze beautifully. They're nice gifts and it's a change from all the sweets that we have. So let's put together one that I quite enjoy. And I think the family does too. And that is, I'm starting with four room temperature, eight ounce cream cheeses. And I'm going to cream that. And then I have washed my hands and uh, my hands will become the tools uh, for what we're going to do. And it is going to go, and I'm guessing, and after I get it mixed in, I'll see whether or not it needs more or less. And I've got two cups of the Kojak cheese here. You could put pepper jack, you could put sharp, you could put your favorite cheese. After we create the balls, they will be rolled in, in uh, uh, nuts. And we uh, have lots of pecans and enjoy pecans, so I've chopped those. I'm going to use as my seasoning, ranch, uh, uh, seasoning and I will put that in and then it's nice to use ham you can uh, get the uh, this just chops easily uh, your sandwich ham okay so let's let's prepare the ham and get it ready let me show you how I do it this is a chopper from Walmart. That really saves me lots of time. Okay. I would like more ham. So I'm going to get some more. Want to get it all in so that it'll chop the edges. It's 
not that hard, but I have a, a, a trigger thumb. And so I'm using my uh, fist instead of an open hand right now. It feels a little better on my, on my uh, thumb by doing that. Okay, I believe that will be just perfect for what we're looking at. You could put it, you could slice it with a knife, you could put it in a food processor, but it will be great done that way. Okay, this will be a little noisy. I'm going to cream the room temperature cream cheese just to get it to where it's mixed up and goes our ham this has to almost be done with your hand, in my opinion. You get approximately the amount you'd like for your cheese ball. Form a rough ball. And then picks up all the nuts. It's great. And my hands will have some nuts on it which will be just fine because if they get into the next cheese ball, you just have an extra treat in my opinion. Okay, there we go. You can tell it's warm in Arizona, so it's warm cheese ball. They'll be wrapped in a saran wrap and see, as you can tell, I'm getting some nuts in the cheese ball, but that won't hurt at all. You wrap it in saran wrap, nice and tight, so that it will be able to hold these nuts on until the cheese firms up and it works perfectly. And what more do we need than a, the, a, a something to nip on that we don't have to go start from scratch and worry about feeding or entertaining a crowd. So I think this is a great one to have on hand. It's nice to find recipes that you can keep on hand to allow that convenience and the absence of stress during uh, the holidays. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday. I'm gonna be grateful to get these in and we may use this smaller one and just leave it out. Start nipping tonight. <laughs> Takes very little talent. Dream up something you like. If you like chili, if you like, if you like uh, other seasonings, if you don't like nuts, if you can't eat them, but there's not four nice cheese balls and they'll be wrapped in uh, Saran Wrap. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again. Let's recap that recipe. It was eight ounce uh, containers. There were four eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. 
two cups of Kojak cheese. I put three tablespoons of ranch dressing, the dry ranch dressing mix. And then there was about a cup and a half uh, of uh, chopped ham. You could put all sorts of seasonings, all sorts of cheeses. You could leave meat out. You can make a cheese ball and not put. It rolled in uh, nuts, however you'd like. I have uh, I saw one one time where you boiled your uh, almonds and slipped the, the brown hull off and then shaped it in the form of a pine cone and uh, put those uh, skinned almonds as the pine cone segments and get a uh, cutting from an evergreen. It makes a beautiful, beautiful uh, centerpiece uh, or a uh, appetizer. And it tasted wonderful too. Hope you enjoy, try it, let me know what you come up with. Thanks again.